Welcome back to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, guys. Well, it looks like after we are placing F to pay respects for our poor pilot dying last time, it is time to do more work in Kurita's space. And I think House Kurita doesn't like me very much right now. Yeah, we're, we're suspicious. They are suspicious about us. Um, and they're rightly suspicious because I don't trust them. Let's see, there's a quest here in Alton marked. High reward quest, and we could also go up here and do another high reward quest. But before we do that, let us travel to Avon and uh, start repairing mechs because last time we had an Atlas who decided to randomly fall over and die with my best pilot in it. Oh well. Sad things are happening indeed. But maybe. Maybe we can turn the lock around. Let's see. Anything good in here? Nope, never mind them. Anything in my inventory that I need to sell? I think we got. Oh, we got a king crab, right? We got the king crab from uh, that gentleman that died last time, Mr. Kane! Yeah, we killed him. We killed the living hell out of him. Let's grab the centurion and sell that. Okay. Now, for my next trick, let's go ahead and repair all these mechs. This is my battle master. We took quite a bit of damage, but no, no parts lost. One atlas, basically no damage. Next atlas, again, basically no damage. And then there is that one atlas who just got murdered for no reason. Okay, let's have a look at the loadout. And it got killed through what? Front or rear? It looks like to me it got killed through the um, front, apparently. Aha, interesting. Actually, it's counting up. That's an interesting bug here. If I press back and forward, it does it does it repair this or what? No, it, it actually also increases the amount of cash it costs. That is weird. Okay. Well, long story short, this mech got killed, and somebody said in the comments, "Oh, you need to put my back armor." No, the front armor is all gone. It doesn't matter if the front armor is gone uh, if he gets killed through the back or not. Gone armor is gone armor. He just got murdered. Um, all the damage on the CT and some damage on the right arm. Let's go ahead and re-put that medium laser. And another heatsink. Funnily enough, that's even a Lurm build. Oh, we lost both double heatsinks. Wow. Like, the game really decided to, to really tell us up yours. Both double heatsinks gone, both medium lasers gone, and the pilot also dead. The game really decided to... Not like us, apparently. 49 days. Oh, well then. Everything is being repaired. Let's uh, start traveling. Maybe to... Let's see. How far is this? Two jumps. What happens if we go here? Okay, we can't go directly to there. So, I'm gonna go here to... Um, Iris. Which apparently also has a uh, black market. I mean, let's see if the black market is still there. The... Uh, the sad thing about the black market is you have to chase it, and sometimes it's not even there. It is shrouded in mystery and shrouded in darkness. The black market. <laughs> By the way, I switched to you, I call her guys. I think you gotta like that. And we do have a black market. Let's see what we have. Is there anything good here? Nope. What about equipment-wise? Do we have something? Well, actually, that large laser is not too bad. Um, no double heat sinks though. So, nope. Okay, let's check the contracts. Oh, it's a four, four mission operation. And what is that? We can work for pirates. Against House Karita. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Uh, we can also do a defense mission here. 95 difficulty. Holy hell. These guys are really not skimping on the mission difficulty here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and check the contract. Two quests available. This, this deliverance. That is our mission here. We got what? We have carte blanche? I have carte blanche on how to achieve the goal of dealing with the ISF's nobleman who is apparently doing wrong things. Okay, for that we will get an AC-10, an AC-20 and an auto cannon 2. 5 star. Okay. Deliverance. I will do that. House Kurita is gonna like us, but what I wanna do here is this pirate hunt for House Kurita, apparently. Many residents in the Rasselhag military district pay only lip service to House Kurita, and the loyal service of the DCMS regiments drawn from the population remains likewise questionable. 
While the troops in this region follow orders, there are rogue elements within the district, and some have allowed their disloyal natures to corrupt their bitter slaves. Okay, this is I can't I can't keep up this weird Japanese accent. I'm sorry, guys. Taisa Luke has Ranta, formerly of the first Alton Market, <laughs> Alton Market, <laughs> Old Market, or Market of Old People. Um, militia is one such fallen soul. But even his general could not curtail his outspoken anti creator attitudes. The Draconis combined master soldiery was forced to step in. Instead of accepting his punishment, he led a loyal uh, portion of his loyal soldiers into the outer reaches of the Combine, embracing a life of piracy. Such a show of disloyalty by a high ranking Combine warrior and hailing from a unit intended to curtail rebellious activity is not only embarrassing to the DCMS, but if a traitor is not put down with prejudice, the situation could shatter the already weakening faith the people in this region have in the Coordinator. These deserters must be hunted down, not only to stop their activities, but to dissuade other Wrestlehagians other from a similar path. Wow, he can write this stuff, but he can't read it. Um, be aware that Ranta himself might be difficult to confront at first. However, if you strip the protection his sub-commanders provide, he will have little choice but to face you on the battlefield himself. The first target involves the liberation of a farming community Ranta's pirates have occupied. Their utter lack of honor may force them to use the locals as human shields, or they might raise farmland to distract you from your objectives. Destroy any bandits you find in the area, but keep casualties among the pleasantry to a minimum. There's peasants in the future. And preserve as much agricultural property as possible. Even peasants serve an important function for the dragon. If it weren't for the ability to buy good mechs there, I would really, really, really hunt down these guys. I, I don't like them. Okay, so uh, on the hunt, pirate hunt, here we go. Ooh, level 95. Assassination. Okay. Sure. This might hurt. <laughs> well, I still have a couple of pilots, so... Um, let's see, he would be useful. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Let's see... Captain Holmes. 60? Oh, that's the pilot we got. Isn't that the pilot we got? Well, doesn't matter, we put him in. If that pilot dies, I'm going to be very, very sad. <laughs> 35 tons. Do I have anything heavier? Can I bring anything heavier? I'm actually debating whether I should, whether I should bring the awesome. Just for the, the pinpoint damage. And being able to stay back a little bit. But I'm so worried about this atlas. Should I bring the awesome? Am I the god of lasers, is the question. I mean, it's 30 firepower. It's not bad. Could be more, though. The Battlemaster on the other side has 56. That's a lot more. Well, might as well stick with the Battlemaster. The TTB meme continues. Actually, let's check the Battlemaster here real quick. I have good medium lasers, the only thing that I need to switch on was the large laser, but the mediums have a range of, what, 445? Okay, that's good. I might even remove the SRM-6 at some point just to, to throw in more heat sinks. We look at the back right now. Yeah, we could, we could definitely amp up the heat sinks in this thing. If we remove the SRM-6 launcher. And the ammo. Just go triple double heat sinks. Uh huh. And then one more single heat sink. Here. That would be, be, be quite nice. Let's also remove that large laser and put in a good large laser like this one. I mean, I have, I have four stars, so I could put that thing in. 700 meters range, that is nice. Okay. The firepower goes down though to 42. Of course, because we don't have the SRM-6 anymore, but the cooling should be a lot better. It should be much more effective now. 58 days of work. Do you want to wait that long? I 
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Enough starting around, guys. Death awaits us on the battlefield. I'm, I'm telling you guys, escape from Tarkov is less stressful than MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. <laughs> okay. Let's try and keep this slow. Let's get a nice pace going. Let's not rush into things. Let's not be insane. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. There we go, green we UI. The prime target, Tysa Ranta. But in order to do that, we must assassinate the pirate subcommander, Shane Simitsu. He's nearby. Sweep the battlefield and take him out when you find him. Okay, we got the large laser in the arm. We got the medium laser here. Um, how do I... Just put it like this, honestly. Nope, never mind, wrong wrong direction. TTB doing on the fly weapon configurations. Just like a McMoy online. Alright, look at that cooling guys. That is much better. How do you like my mint green lasers and phasers and Oh hello? Kill this guy with the mediums. This guy dies to the large lasers. Perfect. Alright. That is uh, three guys down without us taking any damage. Now we sneak closer to the spot and see if the target's there. Oh, hello. Held up. What the hell? It's a scorpion like tank up there. Being annoying. Almost got him. Yeah, it's too far away for my mediums. But not for the large laser, Target thankfully. Acquired. And the large laser is gonna grab another victim! Haha! <laughs> Whoa! Sneaky, sneaky. Let's get that scorpion Looks first. Like okay. Let's, Let's get the, the quick draw. Get the side torso. Or CT. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot more. Okay, I'm liking this a lot more what I'm doing here. We're slowly drawing them around the corner and killing them. Now I can go ahead and just walk backwards. Okay. Successful engagement didn't take too much damage. I think these guys know something that I don't know. Guys. Aha! They did know something I didn't know. These guys are... Wizards! These guys are wizards! The Steiner wizards! I mean, look at this, guys! This is why you play Mac Warrior. Steiner Scoutlands! It's almost complete. My final form! But actually, yes, there's the Steiner Scoutlands, and then there is TTB's final form, which is the Uber Space German Scoutlands, which is four Annihilators. With LB10 Solid Slug. See target, kill target. Okay, so the guy's gonna be here. Um, hang on. Oscar Mike. Let's get these guys here. I'm not gonna push in here. Instead, we let them come to us. Nope, oh, there's a target. There's a problem. Reposition successful, Commander. Does he know we're here yet? At the waypoint. Target acquired. Haha, <laughs> we're playing Mech Warrior Online now! <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's fall back. Time to fall back. Copy and send in the cavalry. Yo uh oh. Victor is almost dead. One more shot for the mediums. Okay, he's down. Whoa! The bird the cicada. Got an awesome here, we've got the banshee here. I'm gonna go for the awesome first with his super PPCs. So that I can shoot him. Nice city shot. Holding it location. Guys, can you please not put What the hell? Are you dropping on top of me? He's dropping on top of me. 
What a piece of bullshit. Ay, ay, ay. There we go, got the side torso. It's okay, that's still annoying, that's still the banshee. Gotta go straight for CT here. Is this guy still alive? No, it's another banshee that. What the hell? Okay. Now we're gonna fight for our lives. Once again, Satos is gone. Got the CT. Scorpion was killed by the medium lasers. Come on. Alright. Now we go after this guy. Still something bigger behind us. It's the, uh, the Orion. Come on. It's done. Got the Phoenix Hawk a little bit down. That Banshee is still fighting. Thank God for the right side of the, and the right leg. This guy gets disarmed now. No more weapons. Bye bye. And that just leaves us the Cicada who is still fucking annoying. And so dead. Whew. That was intense, guys. That was intense. And this time, the guys didn't put ass towards enemy. This guy... Uh, CT a little bit damaged from behind. This guy a little bit of damage in the back. It's okay. Also a little bit of damage in the guy. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. My Atlases were together. And because of that, they shared armor. They were all... Look at this. They're almost all the same in terms of damage taken. Beautiful. Absolutely blatiful. What the hell, come on. Let's go, guys. By the way, that pickup spot. <laughs> oh, Rihanna. It's off to the dungeon for you today. But that was, that was such an amazing thing. The enemy drops a full lance right on my head. It's like, who ordered the pizza? I've got Banshee, extra heavy. With extra salami. Luckily, those banshees were crap. Like that turret. It's a turret of rapid disintegration. Woo! Victory! It never tasted more sweet. My Steiner plans have finally come to fruition. 1.5k reputation, 2.3 million sea bills. Whoa! Oh, oh, Moku is going to have an orgasm. Four star PPCs. Let's see what else we could get here. Okay, nothing else here, just the PPCs or the medium lasers. I'm actually tempted to get mediums as well, because these are these are four star mediums. These are pretty good. Even though they're not the same value as the PPCs, um, they're just really good. And then I'm just gonna grab, I don't know, two AC5s. Just one AC5? Okay, never mind then. Um, two left. Okay, let's get the burst fire. Yeah. Because these medium lasers I can put together with my um, Battle Master. Tune up the heat even more. 500k in damage taken? Absolutely fine. Absolutely freaking fine. Nothing bad happened. <sighs> we had a good day. Now it is going to be off to the next planet, which is going to be Pirate Hunt Part 2. You are going to be co you are to be commended for your strength when the cowardly pirates attempted to use peasants as shields. However, you allowed many of the traitors to escape justice. Nobody escaped justice. I killed them all. Freaking samurai crazy nut jobs. To rectify this oversight and remain in good graces of the professional soldiery liaison, you must complete the job. Ranta's band of traitors have gone to ground on a world renowned for its storms. You'll need to follow them and fight through the terrifying weather. Ranta's second-in-command is known believed to be in the area. Eliminate him and any of the deserters under his command, and the path to Ranta himself should be clear. Of course we will do that, and for that we have to travel to... Outer Volta. Okay. I'm thinking to take a quick detour over to Herndon. And uh, go ahead and repair up. And then we are going to engage the traitors. Part 2. Which will hopefully lead us to the big cheese in part 3. And if we get out of that with all pilots alive, I will call it a success. I don't care how much money I lose. Pilots need to be alive. Because I'm sick and tired of hunting them down. 
on the barracks. Um, Captain L. Bundy. Um, unfortunately, really bad defense skill. However, this gentleman right here, Captain Butler, which is not a gentleman but a lady, I'm sorry, you're hired. I've seen it all. Now, I want to get paid for it. Okay, anything good in the market? Uh, yes! 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 The loot piñata! <laughs> Alright guys, alright guys, I'm going to show you something now. I'm going to show you something now. Okay, it took 5,544 days for the first Urban Mech K9 to show up. Irby time OMG. Okay, okay. So, check this out. We're going to purchase the Urban Mech. I hope this still works, we'll see. So, Urban Mech K9, 2.3 million C bills. My dropship is full. Okay, never mind, one second. We'll, we'll, we'll sort this out in a sec here. Let's put the Marauder in cold storage. And, um. Put the Centurion in cold storage. Okay, so. I am going to buy the Urby. And then I'm going to check the equipment bar to see if there are any double heat sinks here by any chance. Maybe we're lucky. Nope, okay. So, we go to our battle max and we check the Urby K9, which normally has a interesting loadout. UAC-5, very interesting because that is a lost tech weapon. But what's most interesting to us are the double heat sinks in here. So, we strip the mech of all weapons. And to do that fast, we just go ahead, as always, and drop it in cold storage. Let's see if that still works. Boom. Okay, it's stripped. Now, I'm going to go ahead and sell the Urbi. Bye bye, Urbi. Now, in the market, the Urbi is back, but as you can see, it doesn't have anything installed. It's empty. However, if, for example, we go to, uh, I don't know, Planet McAllister, and then travel back, if we're lucky, if my plan still works, then we might be in luck. And I might get uh, to buy a couple of Urbis here. Alright. Oh, there's an Atlas for sale. An Atlas RS. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these. Also, this guy is still smoking, apparently. Uh, no, another Atlas RS in here, okay. So I could I could build the Steiner Scout Lands if I wanted to, but I don't like these RSs. Um, Equipment-wise, just checking for double heat sinks, just in case. Okay. So, let's get the repair started on my Battle Max, and also get the refit started on my Battle Master, where we will use four hard points to put in juicy, juicy, juicy medium lasers. Let's sort by size, then I should be able to find them more easily. Um, oh, I got five star medium lasers. Why didn't anybody say so? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, well, four star, not five star. Never mind then. Um, 24 days, not a problem. Repair everything on top. No damage whatsoever. Now, repair this mech. 123k, not a problem. 164k, not a problem. 1140. Oh, everything, everything is fine. Everything is not a problem. Okay. Now, we travel to Herndon again. And if everything works out correctly, we should see another Urbi in here. Or maybe I fumbled the, uh, the thing, the trick. We'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed for Urbi. Please be here, Urbi. Please be here. Are the Urbi gods with me or not? The Urbi gods are with me, and the Urbi has been restocked. 2.1 million. We buy the Urbi. We do Urban Mech Magic. Now you see a full Urbi. Now the Urbi is empty. I probably won't even have to go back and forth here. But the important thing is, take Urbi. Sell Urbi. ka -ching. And rinse and repeat. This is costing us quite a bit of money, guys. Um, not so much the travel, but the time spent. And the Urbis, of course. Every set of, what does it have, 8 double heat sinks costs us about 1.5 million. But you know what, guys? It is, it is so worth it at this point. We've had such a hard time finding double heat sinks, so... I'm gonna grab a couple of Urbis here. 
there's there's no way I'm leaving this opportunity on the field. I just I won't go too crazy because I need the money later on for TTB's favorite mech of all time. But even that mech needs some good hit sinks. There's the Irby again. Come to me, little Irby. Thanks for coming. Now it's empty again. Go away, little Irby. <laughs> so, guys, if you have the same problem, you just cannot find the Urban Mech K9, and you are too early in the campaign where you can't get double heat sinks reliably in any way or form, this is the way how you do it. As soon as you spot the Urby, spend some cash. Spend some cash. In a nutshell, once again, you find the Urby, Buy the Urby, strip the Urby, sell the Urby. Travel to the nearest star system, travel back to where you bought the Urby, buy the Urby, strip the Urby, sell the Urby, travel back and forth, and so on. You get the drift. So that's that's the last time I'm doing it though, by the way, guys. Um, I don't wanna I don't wanna go too crazy here. But that should give us a nice set of double heat sinks. Okay, now let's see, how many double heat sinks do we have now? 37. Yeah, that, I can work with that. I can definitely work with that. Hallelujah. Well, and in the next episode, we're going to travel over to Outer Volta. It is time to do some more assassinating. And if you know, guys know me, you know that I love assassinating people. So, like this video, guys. If you found this video fun and entertaining, there's a thumbs up button you can press. There is no excuse not to press the thumbs up button. Unless, of course, you dislike the video, in which case, thumbs down button. Leave me a comment down below if I missed anything or if I should do something different. Uh, let me know how you like the new green UI or maybe we can turn it blue next time or purple. You just let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to go ahead and support my content creation, guys, then check out my Patreon page or hop in on the Twitch live streams. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.